This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder. Welcome to part four of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Adium. Now in this segment, I'm going to look at customization, some of the preferences that you can set to make Adium behave the way you want. So under Adium, select Preferences. Now this dialog comes up. First one is your accounts, shows the accounts that you have set up under Adium. You can add or subtract. Under General, you can elect to log messages, show five recent messages in new chats, save open chats when quitting. You can switch tabs. You can determine what causes messages to be sent and how adding behaves. Personal, you can have your picture, your name, you can put information in about yourself. Your appearance, you can change the different icons, the status icons, menu bar, emoticons. You can use the Yahoo default icons or MSNs, whichever ones you like best. The dock icon, don't like it green, you can make it red. I personally like it green. The contact list, you can change the color theme, the list layout, the window style. Under messages, you can change the way they look. You can Use a different message style, and there's several available. You can show user icons. You can set your text display right from here, rather than from inside of an instant message. You can even customize the background. Your status, you can determine that other people see that you're idle after so many minutes. So you can change this to 15 minutes after 12 minutes of it's an activity set that you're away or that you're invisible or that you're available whatever you want it to be you can add all kinds of customized messages I have one that says I am recording tutorials not to message me events you can have events that determine how Adam acts set those and you can save them so it's a preset File transfers, you can determine how file transfers behave. For example, if I wanted to automatically accept files and images, I could also say only from contacts on my contact list. I never automatically accept files from anyone. I think that's a wise policy. I can show the file transfer window automatically. And then the advanced options, I have things that pertain to the address book, the contact list, you can animate changes, encryption, messages, how they're displayed, some special things on MSN, and then the status window. So, Adam gives you lots of configurable options. You could make it look and act exactly the way you want. And that concludes part four.